A moving truck rental company charges $31.95 to rent a truck, plus $0.8 or 80 cents per mile. Suppose the function C of D gives a total cost of renting the truck for one day if you drive D miles. We want to give the formula or equation for C of D. And because the total cost is changing or increasing at a constant rate of $0.8 per mile, we can model the situation using a linear function. Often, a linear function is in the form f of x equals mx plus b, or f of x equals b plus mx, where the input variable is x, and m equals the slope, which is the constant rate of change, and b is the vertical intercept, which is also the initial or starting amount. But because our function is c of d, the function would be in the form of c of d equals, let's use this form here, so we'd have b plus md. Notice how because the input variable is d, we're using a d here, not an x. And then from here, because the fixed cost to rent the truck is $31.95, this is the initial cost or starting cost, and therefore B is equal to $31.95. And because the total cost is increasing at a rate of $0.8 per mile, the constant rate of change, or in this case, the increase in total cost, M equals $0.8 per mile. which means the total cost function or formula is C of D equals 31.95 plus 0.8D. Now that we have our total cost function, let's answer the next two questions on the next slide. The next question is give the total cost if you drive the truck 25 miles. So we need to evaluate the cost function when D equals 25. So we'd have C of 25 is equal to, again, we substitute 25 for the input variable D. So we'd have 31.95 plus 0 0.8 times 25. So we'd have 31.95 plus 0 0.8 times 25 is equal to 20. And therefore, C of 25 equals 51.95, and the units would be dollars. So we're asked to enter the function notation in the first box, which is C of 25, equals 51.95, and we select the units of dollars. For the last question, suppose you have $120 budgeted to move. What is the furthest distance you can drive the truck? And we're asked to round the answer to the nearest whole number and choose the correct units. So here, because they're giving us the total cost, they're giving us that C of D equals 120, and therefore we'll substitute 120 for C of D and solve for D. So again, if we're given C of D is equal to $120, we'll substitute 120 for C of D, which will give us the equation 120 equals 31.95 plus 0.8D. We'll isolate the variable term by subtracting 31.95 on both sides. So we have 88.05 equals 0.8D. Divide both sides by 0.8. Simplifying, we have D equals 88.05 divided by 0.8 is equal to 110.0625. And D represents a number of miles, so the units are miles. But the question does say, round to the nearest whole number and choose the correct units. So we'll say D is approximately 110 miles. So we enter 110 here, and we select the units of miles. I hope you found this helpful.